Hey guys, it's me, Melly from Melly Loves Books. So, yes, I look a hot mess. It's extremely hot. And yes, I am in the air conditioning, but I was outside walking all day, so I'm not looking my best right now. So sorry. Anyway, it is, I don't even know what today's date is. Today is July 31st, so it's the last day in August. It's the last, <laughs> yeah. It's the last day in July. Tomorrow is August 1st and um, begins a new month. So I just kind of want to share with you guys the books I read in July and the start of the readathon that I'm doing. If you want to take part, it's not anything. It's, it's not set in stone or anything. It's just something fun I thought I would try um with my youtube channel and if you don't want to take part that's fine if you do that's fine too maybe it don't interest you in a new author um but from my last video if you watched you would know that i'm going to do a readathon with the author um haruki murakami i'm going to try to do a video every time i finish a book so we'll see i'm going to dedicate the month of august to haruki murakami and see how many books i can get through but i also am going to be reading um, or trying to finish the book of speculation. So, by Erica Swyler. Swyler? Yes. But, no other books besides that. Because this is a library book, I want to try to finish it. Um, anyway. And because, you know, I don't, you know, it's a library book. I want to finish it. I, I took it out for a reason. I borrowed it for a reason. Anyway. So, let's start off with the readathon announcement. So for the month of July, I'm going to um, dedicate or start a readathon for those, not really for those, but more like, okay, get your thoughts together, Moon, because I'm not doing very well talking, explaining myself. Okay, um, for the month of August, I'm going to be doing a readathon. It's a personal readathon, but if anybody wants to join in, they can join in. Um, and if you want to join in, let me know in the comments below. That's fine. Um, I welcome anybody. But as I mentioned before, the, the readathon is going to be to read as many Haruki Murakami books as you can. Once, if you've already read his books, the point is to read other works by him. Like, if you've read, like, two or three of his novels, like, um, I have, try to read other novels of his that you have not read yet for example i read new region wood i read 1q84 i read but nick sweetheart but nick sweetheart yo my my english is not very well today like my i don't know maybe it's because i'm tired anyway so um i'm going to start off with kafka on the shore and because that's like a highly recommended book and i have it Obviously, because I run, I, I run, Ugh! I won a giveaway, um, I, I won a giveaway, and, um, I have books I want to read by him, so what better way than to do a readathon of it, um, I, I, I've noticed that, I've noticed that, I can only read like one Haruki Murakami book at a time before having to take a break. But I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just because of the way he writes. But I'm going to try to get through as many as I can in the month of August. So please, if you have read Haruki Murakami and are looking to get into his other books, go for it. I There's no set book to read. Like, no set list. Like, um, you know, start with this, go here, go here. It's kind of like read what you want if it's a Haruki Murakami book like I'm not giving you we're going to read this book first and then this book and then this book and then this book no that's not how it's going to go I'm going to read what I want by him throughout the month and you can break it up and read other books too that's fine um, but I'm going to try to get through as many of his books as I can um, and try to see how many I can get through so, like I said, as of tomorrow, I'm going to start Kafka on the Shore and see how well that goes. 
and then try to do maybe a review video for it like an update on what I've been reading um, and let you know how it's going for me um, and all that good stuff if you want to join in like I said please feel free to comment below and um, you know that's fine if you want to um, join me I'd be happy to have more people to read and talk to like I said you don't have to read the same book I'm reading you can read whichever one whichever book of his that um, appeals to you because you know that's fine too and we can talk about it I don't care no biggie uh, anyway so like I said if you want to um, join me just let me know in the comments below I know I do have one other person for some reason at the moment I can't um, come across her name but I'm about to look on my phone because I'm not good with names so I'm sorry but um, but 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 she did comment oh my god where is it now I can't find it Okay, so she commented, okay, so it's WTF, which I'm not going to say what WTF means, but it's WTF, what are you reading? She will, she stated that she will be reading with you and that, so I'm really glad that I have one person. Thank you, WTF. I don't know your real name. If I did... I wouldn't mention you by name, but it's WTF, what are you reading? So I'm looking forward to seeing um, what your, you know, thoughts are on the whole thing. Um, anyway, on to other reading related business. Um, the books that I have read in the month of July. So from my last update, I haven't really gotten too far which is kind of sad but in the month of July in the month of July yes I know I'm a bad singer I'm sorry okay so I lied I got one more book maybe not I don't know I don't remember what I said but in the month of July I have read If Hooks Could Kill Crochet Mystery Number 7 by Betty Heckman Aunt Dimity and the Summer King, and Aunt Dimity Mystery Number Twenty, and George Orwell, nineteen eighty-four. Now, that's three out of four books. The fourth book that I wanted to read, I kind of put to the side because of George Orwell. Actually, I said, I'm sorry, in my June, my July TBR, I I believe I said I wanted to read Outlander. The Newlyweds. Oh my god, I don't remember the other two. My brain just went blank. Anyway, so the two I said I wanted to read. The two I stated I wanted to read it about the June. I did not read. So maybe I should stop setting TBRs for myself for the months. And set more like a, if I get to it, I will read it type TBR. Because it doesn't seem like I read either one. I, I have been reading Outlander. I'm not going to lie. I have been reading Outlander. And I've been reading it, like I said, with my daughter. When she's been doing her summer reading. But she finished her summer reading last Thursday. She finished the first book. She was supposed to read three. Tonight she's going to start the second book, which is The Hunger Games. Um, and I don't think she's going to make it to her third book. But I don't think that that will be a problem with her teacher for this coming year because the book she read, the first book, Aragon, that's a pretty hefty book. And if you're a slow reader, and I'm not saying she is, but if you're a, a reader that reads and likes to take their time and like really like get into the story, which is what she did because she wanted to take notes and she wanted to really understand what she was reading, not just rush through the book. 
then it's going to take you a good minute. So, anyway, I was reading Outlander with her. And Aragon's probably about as thick as in in thickness, I'm going to say. I don't know about pages. Like, Aragon's like 490 some odd pages, at least the, the, the edition she has. I'm not sure how many pages Outlander was, but every night I would sit there and I would read with her. And I would read some of Outlander. And she still managed to finish the, her book before I finished mine. However, she did start before me. So I've been using Outlander as my I'm sitting with you and reading book. So that you don't feel like you're the only one doing it. Plus, you know, I want her to, to get to read. Anyway, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going off course. Anyway, so they are the books that I read for the month of July. Now, you already know what my TBR for the month of August is going to be. Murakami. Haruki Murakami. First book up, Kafka on the Shore. And also, the book of Speculation. Oh, and also I'm reading, because I'm, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm also reading on ebook at night when I'm putting my um, son to bed. I'm reading The Purgatorium by Eva Poehler. P-O-E-L-E-R, I think that's how it's spelled. Poehler, I think it's pronounced. And I'm about... 35% through and that book is I mean she writes like her world book building is so good that the island that this supposed because I'm not going to give spoilers this supposed purgatorium or island relaxation resort as it's being called as of right now is on makes me want to go visit I want to go to this island. If she, I want to know what inspired her. What, wh where did she go? And what inspired her in the creation of this island? Because it sounds so awesome and actually relaxing. Like the place, the resort has a pool, the glass bottom, and you're looking out into the ocean. Like, oh my God, I want to, uh, I want to see these things. Like, I, 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 I want to go to some place where their pool has a glass bottom and looks into the ocean so that I can look at all these wild creatures. Anyway, I'm rambling. This video is getting kind of long. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so that's my plans for the month of July. July. That was my, my reading for the month of July and my TBR for the month of August. I'm sorry. I'm just really tired. We did a lot of walking today. That's what we do on the weekends. We go walk downtown, Center City. We just go walking. Like, me, my husband, my kids. Like, we just sightsee. Like, we don't live in Philly and have never seen all the sights before. It's kind of like a staycation, in a sense. Anyway, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you give me a thumbs down, that's okay. I forgive you. I don't judge. I know sometimes I could ramble. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. If you want to see other types of videos, please let me know. I know sometimes my videos can be random. I'm sorry. But I have three kids. So, what does that mean? I cannot always post a video I can't always do videos and right now I got a moment because well just because I got a moment alone that's all you need to know sometimes us moms need a moment alone and I just happen to have a moment alone so I hope you guys have a good day good evening enjoy the rest of your Sunday I will talk to you guys next video bye 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 bye